Now here's my complete Warner Brothers DVD collection, part 2, February edition or something. Anyway, let's go ahead. So this is the Scooby-Doo, Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry, Triple Feature, Merry Mischief, three holiday movies. It's not, it's the extremist live all time. Ball Hump Duck is the only one that could be considered a movie and it's only 46 minutes. So it's not really much of an actual movie type thing. So anyway, here's the back case and you can read the description if you want. And also, all the special features on each one of these DVDs is just complete trash and isn't really made with any sort of actual effort of anything. But yeah. Also for some reason it says the length to, it says that Winter Wonder Dog is ninety minutes, but it's just not. Anyway, for a short review on each one of these DVDs. Winter Wonder Dog is so shitty. It's shitty visual quality, and the only episode that isn't complete trash is the Where Are You episode. So yeah. Also, one of the episodes, which is a, which is a Scooby and Scarfy Do Show episode, is only seventy minutes. Uh, seven minutes. So I guess what I thought was ninety minutes because I thought it was regular length or something. Bottom Duck is a decent movie. The special features and all the movies are just completely shitty, but the movie is overall decent. Tom J. Paul's for Holiday, just a shitty VHS shout out of DVD with chapter stops and horrible menus, and there's no actual good extras. Also, Paul's for Holiday has English subtitles, but it's not SDH uh, for Devin Hard of Hearing for those of you unaware. So there's basically just no point. Amazing, right? Anyway, there's the Justice League Season 1. Repackaged edition. I don't even know what this packaging is. It looks horrible. But it's an exclusive collector's item. Even though it's in really awful and horrible condition. But anyway, this set is good. The episodes are good. Good visual quality. And overall, it's good. It has some bonus features, but the way they separate the bonus features, it, does, it doesn't really have much of any sort of rhyme or reason. Just one and four, so they have three part episodes. They have seven episodes. Just two and three, they have six episodes. Just one and three just have commentary, but just two doesn't have a commentary. It just has three featurettes. So all of them except the first mission, which is on disc four, which also has a commentary. So a lot of Warner Brothers DVDs are re-released with this weird little disc art thing, which has a weird texture. Also, there's random Justice League DVD that we had, and then we just put it in here. But yeah, the DVD excludes exclusive introduction is not up here, but the look of the week feature, I think it's that one, but that one's recycled from this and it's up here. So, yeah. And oh boy, Jim Carrey double feature, except that's not Jim Carrey double feature, it just has the mask and then the horrible the son of the mask. We also have a Dumb and Dumber double feature, which has a random slip cover, but the actual case is just the same design as this. I think I would prefer it if it just had a double feature with this and Dumb and Dumber and to make it a triple feature, Ace Ventura. So that way it would be a Jim Carrey 1994 collection. But no, they have to slap it with the shitty ass direct VHS quality sequel made 10 years later and literally no one likes it. Also, this DVD is just awful. All of it is on one disc and it's just awful. There's no extras or anything. And for some reason, the chapters, but only on the original movie. Are super horrible. They're just nine random chapters, but when you actually play the movie, the scene selection is the same. But on the sequel, has the regular chapters, which is very stupid. And with this great Tom and Jerry family multi feature, three full length movies. I never really got when they say full length. What exactly is full length? Unless it's a sort of cut down version, which I don't think that there is. There isn't really much of a point in saying this. Anyway, please, the Tom and Jerry great movie. Lots of the Mars and the Fast and the Furry, so three great movies. My opinions of the movies, Tom and Dre the movies are the greatest movie in all of existence. Lots of the Mars is okay, and Fast and the Furry is the best Tom and Dre movie in all of existence. The end. For some reason, Fast and the Furry is really G, but Blast Out the Mars doesn't have a rating, and also for some reason, the Blast Out the Mars doesn't Dolby surround when it's actually in 5.1, which is. Somewhere. Anyway, incredibly fucking horribly, these discs are stacked, which cause them to get all scratched up and they barely even work. So, yeah, that's just the most amazing thing in all of existence. The Tom and Jerry the movie DVD, I think it, well, besides the VHS, we have it. It's the only way to get the exclusive, mostly open mat, full screen edition. It's remastered and widescreen on some digital surfaces, and it was on Amtrio Max at one point. It was taken off for some reason. The widescreen shows like, a little bit more on the side, it's like a comparison video online if you really want it. 
but the DVD itself is is really has really bad quality. So like they got it from one of the most crappiest video sources and the film sources. It has a bunch of film grain and video stuff all over it. It looks horrible. There are some times where it looks exceptionally horrible with a bunch of grain and a bunch of video stuff most of the time. The quality is just, just decent. The Blast and Mars Fast and the Ferrari have way better qualities. And also that Tom and Jerry the movie DVD. Well, I wasn't really... I don't think I was really expecting anything in the way of special features. But what we do get is something, I guess. Menu includes a sped up version of a song from not a song, but it has a random food fight scene. It shows music and sound effects for some reason, and it's sped up for no reason. And uh, yeah, also on special features, it has the invisible mouse and just ducky for some reason. Then get the picture, which is on almost every one of them. And then, well, not almost every one of them. Then it has an incredibly crappy non game called The Great Race, which isn't even a game, and it's so incredibly bad. Blast from the Cars includes Tom and Jerry Martian Mission, which is a National Geographic crap special. Blessing off with Tom and Jerry, or step by step with Tom and Jerry, whatever it's called. Has the animation process for a couple of scenes, and then there's a feature ad and trailers and stuff. And Fast and the Furry doesn't get all of that. It just has a random fully feature ad, and incredibly shitty and bad on game. And then, trailers. Then here's Buzzman's Easter Surprise. You already made a whole entire video about it that you should watch, but. Yeah, it has a crappy Easter collection thing, and then here's the real case. Anyway, this special is just not funny and is garbage, and I'm pretty sure the only reason they released this is so they can make a quick buck and cash in as an Easter collection. I don't think anybody really want to buy this, except for like extreme collection people. Uh, yeah, extreme people who want the... All the uh, I forgot also. Point is that no casual consumer want to own this. Probably just parents who think it's going to be or think that it's trap their kids, but well, I guess it probably will be. But not for very long. The incredibly bad extras and the bad cartoon and bad quality. Three interactive legions puzzle games which gives you a crappy 30 second shit clip. And for some reason, the English and subtitles, uh, the language and the subtitles are swapped on the back of the case for some reason. So that's a detail. Anyway, I kind of like the discard. They actually really ever get full color artwork and not just trash, but yeah. Batman from 1999 and the Batman Returns. I haven't actually watched both of these movies. Mostly the first one, but I wasn't really paying much attention to it. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we have this, and I'm not gonna say the movies are bad because I haven't watched it, but I can certainly say that this fucking set is bad. Instead of including a competent release, like the ones that are released in 2005 with the special editions, they include the incredibly crappy 90s editions with horrible quality and barely extras and non menus. And to make it even worse, it's on a stupid double sided disc for no reason. Why couldn't they have just had them? Is there any reason why they couldn't have just had the separate disc? They wouldn't have to have it on two sides. Two movies on a two sided disc. It's kind of the worst thing ever. I think I would get it if it was like a new set that they made. They put movies on both sides. But they really have to press it. They really have to press the disc both sides instead of just using the perfectly non good, not really much of quality, previous discs. Only two and three DVD collection because three great DVDs. Little Lady Bugs Woody movie, which I already discussed in an older episode that you shouldn't watch. Rabbit Strong and the Center Stage Volume 1. Center Stage Volume 1 is just Looney Tunes Disc 3. It needs a golden collection, Disc 3, but it's just with the new design. Looney Lady Bugs Woody movies were just incredibly decent package movies. They kind of just ruin it with a really bad animation and voice acting. And Rabbit Strong is decent, and Center Stage is good, considering how it's just a golden collection disc 3. Also, for some reason, Rabbit's Run and Central Stage have the redesigned WB weird texture art that I talked about with the Justice League thing, but Moon Money Bugs Money movie doesn't for some reason. Also, there's a Central Stage Volume 2, which I'm pretty sure is the same disc art and the same art and everything, just that it's green, but it's Gordon Fleshy Disc 4. Spaceship is a great classic movie that everyone loves and remembers. Well, yeah, I guess a bunch of people remember it, but. Not many people really love it. The movie's on the very low end of all right. Anyway, enough about that. This DVD is just garbage. It promises commentary and production notes, even though it's... There's no production notes. Now, all the back from Tom and Warner Bros. first making DVDs, they made DVDs for all their hit movies, including this and Batman, as they previously reviewed. All the DVDs are just trashy, and yeah. 
and then later this release has a special 2 disc deluxe edition that really had the least amount of business being 2 disc because all that was up there was a feature, a couple of music videos, and then 8 random LinkedIn shorts labeled adventures for some reason. And one notable thing up there is Invasion of Body Snatchers, which I'm pretty sure is the only place you get the cut version because it was cut for time for some reason and it edited out all the Yosemite Sam scenes. That's not like it's not fun. Anyway, it just it has incredibly horrible menu, it's being the main menu, but it's horrifying. And it just has a commentary and awful quality trailer. So yeah, that's it. Lego Scooby Double Feature is... Some, the movies themselves are decent, but the only reason they made these Lego movies is because of marketability. Compared to Scooby Doo, which is 100%, or actually 110% marketable, and comparing to something with something else that's part of it equals money or something. They could just make these regular Scooby Doo movies. Just if anyone would have cared or minded, but uh, yeah. Anyway, they have these bonus cartoons on Blur Beach Bash. The DVD is super lazy. It just has a random bootleg ass gray selection screen where you can select each movie. It doesn't have any sort of actual logos or anything, and it doesn't have any extras except for the two cartoons on Blur Beach Bash. I don't know why they're just the ones on Blur Beach Bash. As far as I said, there was three originally. But it just includes two for some reason, and for even less of a reason. There's no extras on the Haunted Hollywood, even though I'm pretty sure that the Blu-ray version included the Nighttime Terror special. And I'm pretty sure the DVD had some extras, but uh, no, not here. Also, there's some bonus cartoons on Haunted Hollywood, but they're just not here. I don't know if there are actually bonus cartoons on Blue Beach Bash or not. But the point is that the DVD is just incredibly bad. Also, we originally got this, it promised the Lego Scooby Doo figure side, but that just wasn't fucking up there, so we decided to throw the fucking bus with the line box. Anyway, Tom and Jerry the movie is amazing and great, as previously discussed, and Tom and Jerry the Magic Ring is. alright, I guess. The Battle of the just tricks and lies to you because it says that there's more than one language and subtitle option, but there's just. one, which is English. So, uh. Yeah. This DVD has two movies on one disc, but unlike the incredibly horrible local DVD double feature, it actually has menus and also has special features. It's just the same special features collected across the two sets, and uh, Tom and Jerry, the movie set, didn't even have any extra specific to that. Include is the Magic Ring feature, and also uh, Get the Picture, which is both of them. Then four bonus cartoons, and yeah. Also, for some reason, a couple of the cartoons have a weird stereo mixing thing where the dialogue comes out of the left speaker only for some reason. It's on the invisible mouse and just ducky. And on the haunted mouse, all the vocal effects just come out of the left speaker. Not for the invisible mouse though. I don't know why that is, and it's just on this side and not any other version of those two shorts that we got, including the original movie DVD. Garbage. Thinking of the Frankie and the Friend. The boss case is all torn and is in horrible condition, world dominating extra. Any pink of the brain is good, that's it. TV is kind of awful. First of all, the visual quality looks like you just shot a video onto a desk. And second, there's only one extra, which isn't as bad. Well, yeah, I guess it is still kind of bad. But I guess we're lucky to get this on DVD in the first place. We're gonna put it as much as he did, which he didn't really. But Anyways, they're just one extra, so you think they'll put it on the fourth disc, right? Well, uh, no. The disc one and three, I think, have six episodes. Disc two and four have five, and disc two has a feature at. But disc four it just has trailers and all the special features menus, so they just trick you into thinking that there are special features. The only reason they have these is to show off all the other random pink in the brain art, and the menus do look really nice, but yeah, it kind of just lies and checks to you, so that kind of just takes away. Thing. Anyway, that's all the DVDs, but I'll see you in March. Also, they were just a couple of episodes away from completing the second season, so why don't they just do that, make complete first and second seasons, and then make season 3 volume 1 and season 3 volume 2. Also, there's a fourth season, but it just has seven episodes, so I'm probably just going to end up grouping it. In the season three, maybe. Also, Hulu, well, before they very sadly lost the rights to Pink in the Brain and the Animaniacs universe shows and stuff. Anyway, they grew season four into season three, so.
is just four episodes, but so which is the opposite of what they did for Animaniacs season one and two, since season one is a billion episodes long. Now it's the end.